And today, Benny can easily have a conversation in 10 languages. 외국어를 배운 경험이 있으시거나 예정이신 분들, 심지어 외국어를 포기한 경험이 있는 분들도 희망의 불씨를 끄지 마시고 스무 살 넘은 외국어 고자가 쉽게 국어를 정복한 이 영상으로 다시 꿈꾸십시오. 끝까지 시청하시면 여러분도 하실 수 있습니다. 와, 쉽게 국어? 장난해? 원래 잘하는 사람 데려와 놓고 또 뭐? 언어 고자? 아, 또 속았네. 아닙니다. 모국어 빼곤 외국어를 전혀 못하던 20대 청년이 맞습니다. 학교에서 5년이나 배운 외국어를 비롯해 11년이나 배운 외국어도 전혀 말 한마디 못하는 실력으로 졸업했고요. 혹시나 하는 마음에 졸업 후 6개월이나 스페인에 살아보았지만 스페인어 한마디도 못하고 알아듣지도 못하던 언어고자가 맞습니다. 이게 무슨 소리야! 아니 고자라니! Benny had 11 years of Irish, Gaelic and 5 years of German at school. Couldn't speak them at all when graduating. Up to the age of 21, he thought he didn't have the language gene and he could not speak another language. And today, Benny can easily have a conversation in 10 languages. 지금 그 놀라운 비결을 알려줄 중요한 영상을 공유하겠습니다. 미리 좋아요, 선구독, 공유는 여러분의 영어 공부에 큰 도움이 될 겁니다. When I was uh, 21 years old, I could only speak English, which is typical for those of us from English-speaking countries. Why this was going to be the case for me for the rest of my life, and I was very confident of this because I had no natural talent, I had a very bad memory, um, I couldn't travel to the country yet, I was too old, I felt too old, I did really poorly with languages. 외국어 재능? 그런 거 몰랐던 베니는 스페인어를 배울 기회가 생겼지만 이마저도 날려버립니다. I moved to Spain. And I figured, this is it. This is going to solve my problems, living in the country. No. Six months later of living in Spain, couldn't speak any Spanish. 이런 상황 가운데 다행히 폴리글라트를 만나게 되었고 그들에게 감명을 받고는 외국어 공부를 성공하겠다는 강한 동기를 부여받습니다. 하지만 그는 그냥 다른 사람 앞에서 멋있게 보이고 싶어서 외국어를 익힐 생각이었습니다. 여러분은 무엇 때문에 이렇게 열심히 영어를 공부하시나요? So, What I discovered after those six months is, is one of the biggest problems we have in language learning, but we don't know it, and that's motivation. A lot of us start with the wrong motivation to learn a language. We're learning the language just to pass an exam, to improve our career uh, prospects. And when I changed that uh, priority of using the language of people, I was able to learn the languages myself. 영어 공부의 동기와 이유는 여러 가지가 있겠지만 언어는 의사소통 도구임을 절대로 잊지 말아야 합니다. 베니는 공부의 대상이 아닌 언어로서 외국어를 사용했을 때 폭발적인 성장이 거듭되었다고 말하면서 의사소통을 위한 대화 시도가 외국어 습득에 가장 좋다라고 강조합니다. 그리고 평생 자신의 외국어 공부를 방해해왔던 핑계들을 소개하며 막상 실행해보니 이런 것들은 핑계거리도 되지 못한다라고 이야기합니다. 첫째, 재능에 대한 핑계. The first is that they've no language gene or talent. But let's, let's just imagine some people that would do better. People uh, advance faster than the rest of the crowd. So let's say there's some inborn trait that gives someone a 20% advantage over the rest of the people. Good for them. But that doesn't mean that you can't. It just means you have to work 20% harder. And I found that when I work harder, I can catch up with the naturally talented and even overtake them. So not having talent is not a good excuse. 둘째, 나이에 대한 핑계. 사람들은 보통 어린 나이가 언어 학습에 유리할 것으로 생각하지만 그렇지 않은 연구 결과가 많습니다. 그리고 성인이 되어 언어를 습득한 사람이 적지 않다는 거죠. The next reason is that you're too old to learn a second language. And a lot of us feel that children are their, their brains are hardwired to learn languages better. Well, a study at the University of Haifa in Israel actually found that under the right conditions, adults are better language learning, le learners than children. It sounds incredible. And when you think of it, adults tend to be studying dusty old grammar books and doing boring exercises, whereas children are playing in the language. They're having fun in it. So I found that when I changed this to live through the language, not making it about studying the language, but living the language, then I was much more successful. So you're not too old to learn language. I've met people in their 60s starting to learn language and being successful with that. 세 번째, 환경에 대한 핑계. The next 
uh, excuse people would have is that they can't travel to the country right now. But nowadays, the world is smaller than you think. Thanks to the internet, we can connect with native speakers from across the planet, and you'll, you'll see that in a, a lot of cases, they might want to learn your language. But even forgetting the internet for a moment, a lot of us live in cities or towns that are more international than what we think. And when I was traveling in America, I made it to Columbus, Ohio, of all places, to meet this very interesting polyglot called Moses, where he'll go to some public place and just see if he can find some foreigners and practice the language with them. And I joined him when we went to a mall, and we, the two of us managed to practice 12 languages. You can learn a language anywhere. And I, I wanted to push this to the limit. My most recent project, I went to the middle of Brazil, of all places, to learn Egyptian Arabic. Even though there were no Egyptians around me, I got on Skype, and I talked for one or two hours a day, and I managed to go up towards conversation level. So no, not being able to travel to the country is not a good excuse. 네 번째, 기억력에 관한 핑계. The next one people might give is they got bad memory for learning all that vocabulary. But research on memory capacity has found that it's better when you revise these words with the right frequency. And there's this technique called spaced repetition where you revise the word just before you would forget it. But to get it into your heads and stuck there permanently, then just review it to make sure it goes, like review it one day later, then a week later, and then a month later. And there are free programs you can download that help you time all of this. But you can learn the words faster and better if you combine this with an image association technique. So for instance, let's say I wanted to learn that the Spanish word for to fit is caber. Well, what if I imagine then that it's barely possible to fit a bear in a cab? Cab bear is caber is to fit. So you do this for a lot of words, and it actually gets very easy with time, and you can learn vocabulary instantly. So no, having a bad memory is not a good excuse. 다섯 번째, 외국인이 싫어할 거란 핑계. Next, and I think the most important one that people always say is that they're going to frustrate native speakers. And this is just so not true. I, I've been to many places, I've spoken to many people, and every time I attempt to use their language, they're overjoyed. They're so pleased that I'm, uh, that I'm even trying. 늦가기 폴리글럿 베니는 원어민과 직접 부딪히는 대화를 통해 수많은 언어를 초급에서 고급으로 발전시켜갔던 자신의 경험을 바탕으로 우리에게 이런 조언을 합니다. 제발 고소가 될 때까지 기다리지 말고 당장 언어를 사용해보라고 말이죠. 누군가는 오늘의 영상으로 영어 및 외국어 공부를 시작하겠지만 누군가는 또 미루기만 할 겁니다. 과연 둘 중에 누가 영어 공부에 성공할까요? And perfectionism is a really bad thing in language learning because a language is a means of communication. It's a way to get to know new people and new cultures. And when you embrace this, it's okay to make mistakes. And I actually have a goal to make at least 200 mistakes a day because then I know I'm getting somewhere. I'm using the language. So embarrass yourself. Go out there. Talk to people. It's okay. 네, 절대 안 좋습니다. 그리고 다시 말씀드립니다만 언어에 있어서 완벽주의는 정말 안 좋은 생각입니다. 공부하려 들면 끝이 없는데 언제 완성해서 언제 쓸수 있을까요? 창피함 따윈 버리고 당장 사용해 보세요. It's okay to use it early, and this is so important that you don't have to wait until you speak the language perfectly and fluently and so on. It's okay to be conversational. And I do have the ability, I do have the skill to learn language. And the reason I have this skill is not because I was born with it and others weren't. It's a decision I made. And the problem a lot of us face is we feel that we're better studying and preparing for speaking a language someday. Because if we do it too early, the world would end from all this frustration we cause people. I say, rather than see if the world will end, a whole new world will begin if you try to learn a new language. So I hope you'll give it a try. Thank you. 이 다섯 가지 핑계가 여러분의 영어 공부에도 있지 않으셨나요? 그렇다면 당장 핑계를 멈추고 바른 동기와 아주 짧은 표현이라도 당장 사용하는 실행력을 갖추시길 바랍니다. 이 영상이 여러분의 외국어, 특히 영어 공부에 도움이 되셨다면 구독과 좋아요를 부탁드리고요. 다른 분들에게도 도움이 되도록 공유 부탁드립니다. 끝까지 시청하신 VVIP를 위한 특전 
영상이나 영어 공부에 대한 의견, 질문은 댓글에 남겨주시면 있는 힘을 다해 답변드리도록 하겠습니다. 감사합니다. 지금까지 좋은 영어 습관이었습니다.